Hello and welcome to the Virtual Chassis Aliases Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to discuss the Virtual Chassis Alias concept, configure it, and also verify its functionality. Well, let's start by examining what virtual chassis aliases are. Juniper's EX series and QFX series switches can be combined to establish a virtual chassis or a virtual chassis fabric that, that allows individual member switches to be managed as a single device. And in Junos 14.1, a new configuration option was added that allows administrators to assign user-friendly names to individual member switches that make up a virtual chassis or a virtual chassis fabric. When you have a virtual chassis established to, to view the individual member switches, there's an operational command called show virtual chassis status and it, and it lists each member switch in your virtual chassis. Now, the virtual chat, the, the, the member switches that make up your virtual chassis are identified by member ID values and they're also identified by the serial numbers. So, and of course, you know, you already have memorized every serial number for every switch in your environment, so you may not need this virtual chassis alias feature to help you kind of identify you know, each member switch in a virtual chassis, but for the rest of us, I, I might like something a little more user friendly maybe. So let's look at some configuration and, 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 and some changes in the command output and see how this works. With Junos 14.1, a new option was added under the Edit Virtual Chassis branch in the configuration hierarchy, and it's called aliases. So currently what I have is I'm in, for example, the console to a switch, and I'm under the Edit Virtual Chassis aliases branch in the configuration hierarchy and configuration mode, and the command's really pretty straightforward. I would say set serial number and here's the serial number of the, the first switch I guess I'm interested in. Now, now I need to know the serial number. This number actually has to be correct. And there's a couple of different ways that I can think of right now to find this information out. If you already have your virtual chassis configured, I can run in the show virtual chassis status command. I, I can see the serial numbers. If the switches have not been combined into a virtual chassis yet, you can run a show chassis hardware command and, and, and get the serial numbers that way. So specify with the set serial number, this number. Here is the alias name I would like to assign to this device. Now, for the purposes of this learning byte, I have two EX4300 sw series switches uh, that I've combined into a virtual chassis, and I would like the switch that has this serial number to be assigned an alias of data center floor one. And the other switch that makes up my virtual chassis, I'd like to assign an alias of data center floor two. So, so that's the command to add this to the configuration. It's very basic, very simple, very straightforward. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do this. And once I have committed these changes, now when I run the show virtual chassis status command, I'll see a new column has been added to the output called alias name. And I can see the alias names that I've configured and assigned to these serial numbers in the output. What I'd like to do now is connect to the console of these switches that have been combined into a virtual chassis and, and, and show you a little bit more. This is a console connection into a virtual chassis consisting of two EX4300 series switches. I'm going to run a show virtual chassis status command to kind of give you a before picture before we configure aliases, when I run a show virtual chassis status command, again, remember, I see the member ID values and I see the serial numbers, but I want to go ahead and configure some aliases so this output is a little more clear to me. Now, because it's no fun to sit here and watch me try to type in these serial numbers, I've kind of built this config uh, ahead of time. And remember the command was, was, was pretty basic, pretty straightforward under the edit virtual chassis aliases branch in configuration mode. I can say set serial number, 
you know, here's the serial number of the, the first device I would like to assign an alias to. And I said set alias name, whatever you'd like the alias to be. In this case, you know, data center floor one. And I've also added in the second switch in my virtual chassis and assigned it an alias of data center floor two. So I've built the configuration. I just simply have not committed it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and commit my, my changes. And once the configuration is applied, we're going to go back in and run the show virtual chassis status command again and, and see if our alias names appear. So it looks like I'm lucky. The configuration has been committed to both member devices in the virtual chassis. So I'm going to go back to my show virtual chassis status command again and let's, let's see if we see anything different. And again, here, here's our two member switches, member IDs and serial numbers, but, but our big difference now is we've assigned our user-friendly alias through configuration to, to this output. And so hopefully these aliases help you more clearly identify the devices that make up your virtual chassis or your virtual chassis fabric. In this Learning Byte, we discussed the virtual chassis alias concept and saw how it can be configured and verified. For more information about Juniper Network's training and certification options, please visit our website. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.